Have you ever weighed your kid's backpack? Probably not. Well, according to the Consumer Produce Safety Commission, there are more than 5,000 visits to the ER by school-age children due to backpack injuries every single year, which is pretty surprising. Natalie Ref here from Stretch Lab in Old Town to prevent your child from being injured this school year. Natalie, I think that that's a real surprising statistics. You mentioned, do you wear, uh, weigh your kids' backpacks? Most kids, people don't. Most adults don't. No, it's true. Most people don't, and it's really important to make sure that your backpack is the right weight proportionate to your child's weight. You don't ever want your backpack's weight to exceed 5 to 10 percent of your child's body weight, which is on average around 30 pounds mm -hmm. at the most. And that's pretty, I mean, 30 pounds sounds like a lot to me, but you start putting some books in there, some notebooks, and that adds up pretty quickly. It does add up quick, especially with all the textbooks. And, you know, they start really young having those heavy backpacks. So it is really important to make sure you're taking the time to make sure that that backpack weighs the appropriate amount for your child. And this is important right now, because I know a lot of parents, maybe today, are going out to buy the book bags for their kids here uh, as back to school approaches. So I, I assume my parents, and I imagine a lot of you out there, pick either the cheapest one or the one that their kid thinks looks the cutest. So what is some advice you have for purchasing that per perfect backpack? Yeah, of course. So I think the most important part is to make sure that it's a double strap backpack. You want to make sure you can evenly balance the weight of the backpack, that 5 to 10 percent of your child's weight mm -hmm. of the backpack, um, so that you don't have imbalances and that you're not moving your body in a way that it's not intended to move for an excessive period of time. So making sure that those straps are comfortable, there's support, and that it balances on both arms is really important. Okay, so it's uh, maybe even have them try it on when they uh, get the, to the store and they bring them with. Exactly. Adjust the straps. Just make sure that it, it sits comfortably on both shoulders. Don't try to do that cool one shoulder well, thing. Well, that's what I was <laughs> going to say. So uh, let's actually talk about some of these. We're going to do some demonstrations here about backpacks and what, what to do and how to pick them up. So let's walk on over. Yeah. we got models here to help us on out. Uh, first of all, what's the most important thing about getting the backpack started right at the beginning of the day, getting it on your back for well, a kid? Picking up the backpack, okay. right? First, so give me, a, give it a go. Pick up the backpack. Oh, you backpack. want me to do it? Okay. Yep. Go, go ahead. Uh, Show me right. how you would pick up a backpack. I don't know, like that, probably, and just like this. I don't know. Whew. I, was that bad? <laughs> <laughs> so the problem with that is when you lean over, you're not supporting your back. So oh, okay. once might not bother you, but every day you're picking up this backpack multiple times. True. So I have Alicia here. She's one of our flexologists at hey, Stretch Alicia. Lab, and she's going to show us the proper way to pick up a backpack. So okay. you bend down, giving support, making sure your back is tucked under, and grounding up through using your core, lift that backpack up, place it on both hands with your straps on both arms, balancing that weight there. How do you communicate this to kids? Because look, I mean, at home you're going to be able to maybe get them to do that in the morning, but you want them to be able to do this every, because if you're a middle school, high school, you got six, seven, eight classes a day, you're going to be carrying this thing around it. So what, you just tell them that, hey, this is important for your back, you're going to get hurt? What do you, how do you get kids to do this? Well, I think as with everything, as with adults too, routine and consistency is important. And it's the same with stretching. Stretching is something that has to be consistently done every day. So I think just making it a part of the routine in the same way when you take your clothes off, you put it in the hamper. There are certain things you teach your kids and make that a part of your routine. So I think just kind of getting them excited about being like, hey, this is an activity. This is what we're going to do and practice it with them. Yeah, that'll help them in other uh, activities later in the future. All right, what's the next demonstration? What do All we got? All right, we're going to head you over the way, this Natalie. way. This is Doug. He is another hey, flexologist Hi. here. Okay. He's going to, whoo, sorry. That's He's okay. going to um, show us a few stretches that you can do in the morning and at night just to make sure, you know, as kids are excited and running around all summer and then they switch to this stressful situation where there, there's more stress, there's physically more stress, mm -hmm. and they're having a more sedentary lifestyle because they're sitting at that desk for that extended right. period. Right. So um, what Doug's going to show you first is um, a QL stretch. Okay. So he's going to um, stretch. This is something you could do at home at your desk. So watch as he brings his arm okay. up across. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. That's not just raising the hand for class. That's, uh, that's a good way to do it. <laughs> I mean, maybe you could incorporate yes. that. <laughs> stretch so you're asking questions of the teacher. So this is what you could do maybe at the breakfast table or something when you're getting ready with the kids in the morning? Yeah, another okay. one is a, a chest opener and we have these straps uh, from Stretch Lab and okay. you can also use a belt or a rope or anything you have accessible to you and just bring your hands up there and all the way back around to open up that chest. It'll help with the computer muscles, the backpack muscles that want to lean forward. I think it's important for parents to know whether it's the backpack or the stretching. These are important things. Sorry I got in your way there, Doug. They're important things and they're easy to do. You can do them at home, you can yes. do it and of course, it's important just to know the backpack safety. Natalie, thanks for breaking this all down for us. Thank you for having us. It's important stuff here. For more backpack safety and stretching techniques, check out Stretch Lab in Old Town.